As we keep more and more of our sensitive data and personal records on our PCs, keeping them secure becomes all the more important. While you can keep all of them on a USB stick that's only connected to your PC when needed, your files can still be seen by anyone who finds it. If you're on Windows 10 and you want to create a secure password protected folder for all of your sensitive files, here's how to get to it. The easiest way to do this is through 7-Zip Archives. If you do not already have 7-Zip installed on your computer, feel free to download the installer using the link in the description below. Once 7-Zip has been downloaded and installed, open a File Explorer window and navigate to the folder you want to password protect. Give it a right click, hover over the 7-Zip option, and select Add to Archive. Once the Settings window pops up, select the archive format to 7Z and the compression level to store using the drop-down menus next to each option. If you've got limited hard disk space, tick the Delete Files After Compression option as well. This option permanently deletes the original folder and everything within it. If you have enough free space, you can opt not to select this option and delete your unsecure files if you feel so. That being said, click on OK and an uncompressed 7Z file will appear. Give it a right click, hover over the 7-Zip option again, and select Add to Archive. Ensure that the archive format is set to 7Z and the compression level to store, and tick the Delete Files After Compression option. Once that's done, type in a password for your folder using the text box labeled Enter Password on the right. Re-enter the password in the text box below. Ensure that the encryption method is set to AES-256, then click OK. Your renamed 7Z file will appear promptly. To access your files to ensure that it worked, right-click on the 7Z file, mouse over 7-Zip, then select Open Archive. This will open up a 7-Zip window. Double-click on the 7Z file, and you're prompted to enter in your password. Your folder will then appear. From here, you can view and edit your files and add new ones if necessary. Closing the 7-Zip window will relock your folder. We recommend deleting your unsecured folder if it still exists. And that's all there is to it. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows 10 and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.